Hello, welcome to Kid Talk. I just wanted to tell you that we recorded this episode a while ago, so the holidays are for early October, but it is still a good episode. I hope you enjoy. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Hello, welcome to Kid Talk. This is a podcast where we talk about random things, anything really. I'm your host, Faith, and this is my co-host, Sierra. Say hi. Hi. Even though we may sound professional, we are both only 12. This is Season 1, Episode 11, I think. Maybe. Is that right? I don't know. At this point, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's 11. We have been kind of MIA lately. What is MIA? (laughs) You don't know what MIA is? Well, I I get the gist, but I want to know what it stands for. Missing in action? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> because we have been, and I'm sorry. And if you have noticed lately that Sierra's microphone has been like sounding like dookie, <laughs> then <laughs> um, then she, now you might notice that she fixed it and she got the part that she needed. And that's good. I'm pretty sure I fixed it. So, like, if you hear me fine right now, then yes, I fixed it. And if it's bad, then me and Faith think we fixed it, and we just didn't. That is very true, but I'll know during editing if I don't have to boost your volume, like, 3,000 times. (laughs) Um, wait. (laughs) I want you all to know that Sierra was, like, messing with her hair, and to laugh, she leaned into the microphone just to laugh. (laughs) I did that. <laughs> um, so this <gasps> episode is going to be... Wait, my headphones. That's fine, just plug them in. Oh, God. I thought this was on, but it was off this whole time. That's not very good. Sierra's headphones weren't plugged in, so I'm sorry if that sounded a little weird. They're not plugged in still. They can hear you weirdly. Well, maybe it's not weird. I bet you, you can hear they me They just Sierra's plugged mic. in and I turned it off. No, stop. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Sierra's video just went out. And we were going to do a no editing podcast. Don't tell them that yet. (laughs) So, wait. Are we connected? How did I not notice until now? I don't know. So, we just spent a couple minutes trying to do that. And as Sierra said, we are doing a no editing podcast. And that means that. that. Except for that. Except for that. Well, it's not going to be no editing. It's going to be minimal editing because if we, like, mess up or can't remember what we were going to say, then that is kind of annoying if it's just silent. So I'll cut that part out. But, yeah. Faith, will you tell them why we're doing it like this? We're doing it like this because we kept pushing it back, and now I'm about to go on a cruise. Is that what you meant? Yeah. Now I'm about to go on a cruise, and I don't have time to edit because if you didn't know... It takes me around, like, three to four hours to edit. That's great. Yes, and I'm leaving Friday. Mm-hmm. So, Awkward-ish. there you go. I don't know what you said because your hair was in your mouth, but that's fine. I said awesomeness. Oh, yes. Um, amazing. And the other thing that is different about this podcast, this specific episode, is that what just happened? Um, Sierra just put, like, a V on her chin and just went, like, waved her head around. (laughs) Um, anyway, the thing that makes this episode different as well is that... Stop. (laughs) You're making me laugh. Okay. Um, is different as well is that we're kind of going to be just kind of, like, talking to each other rather than, like, talking to you guys. So we'll we'll see how that goes. We had a mystery segment. We do have a mystery segment, but we're not going to do any news or anything. All the things like that. You told me to get the holidays ready. Yeah, but that doesn't count as, like, my news. We're not doing my news. Oh, I like your news. Well, I just want to test this out. We don't have to do this. I just am testing this out. Okay. For all of you that cannot see right now, Sierra is braiding her (laughs) hair. How do you know I'm braiding it? So we're just kind of going to be talking, we're going to be doing fun things, games, all the things. So I think we're ready for the holidays. Okay, let me get my 
holidays. And while she does that, I also wanted to tell you that it's going to be a little bit shorter of a podcast, hopefully. We'll see. Hi. Okay. So, these, if I am correct, these holidays should be for October 6th. Oh my gosh, it's already October. Anyway. Okay. National Noodle Day, because yeah, noodles are awesome. Noodles are delicious. Like also, ramen noodle, any noodle? Any noodle. Just any noodle. Like egg noodles, egg noodles, like think, ramen noodles. I'm pretty sure it just meant normal noodles. but Spaghetti. Yeah. No, these are all noodles, like okay. all the things. Anyway, I have a random fact. Did you know that noodles have been around for 4,000 years? 4,000 years? Yeah. Cavemen. Noodles are scrumptious. Sierra just licked the microphone. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. (laughs) Discovery of America Day. But apparently not Christopher Columbus. The discovery of Latin America. Like Latins discovering America. Latins. Did I say that right? Latin? Uh, Latins? Latin. Like, I don't think that, like, people in La- Latin... Yeah, Latin. <laughs> Why are we so confused? Anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next. National Badger Day. Badgers is in the animals. They're great. They're awesome. Badgers are delicious. I didn't mean, oh. <laughs> like, the way you eat them. Just, they're cool. Sometimes we say delicious, but you got to say it in the right context. (laughs) (laughs) For it not to be taken the other way. (laughs) As, like, delicious is normally said. Is that just an us thing, or is that, like, an actual thing? I think it's just an us thing. Some of my friends say it, but, like, you know. I think we say it, like, a lot. Yeah. I think it's an us thing, and I'm kind of happy about it. It's wonderful. Okay. It's delicious. Anyway. National Coaches Day. So, like, let's not forget about the role coaches play in shaping. Uh, Delete that whole part, please. This is not going to be a minimal editing podcast. Not at all. National Coaches Day. So, coaches as in your gymnastics coach or your soccer coach. They're cool. National Energy Geek Day. So if you really like conserving your energy. Woo, woo, woo. Do it. (laughs) Do it. (laughs) Okay. National German American Day. So if you're part German and part American, it's your day. Woo. National Mad Hatter Day. So Mad Hatter as in the, you know, Mad Hatter. Um, I didn't even know there was a day for him, like, Yes, I kind of don't know who the Mad Hatter is. <gasps> okay, so the Mad Hatter is an Alice in Wonderland character, and he, like, wears this hat, and he has, like, fat. Oh, yes, I know who that is, but I'm thinking of, like, the older, like, the original. Is he in the original as Alice in Wonderland? Pretty sure. Okay, I knew it was from Alice in Wonderland, or it sounded, like, familiar, but I didn't know that they made a new Alice in Wonderland. How long ago was that? Like, I'm thinking of the original. I don't really know. Okay, National Orange Wine Day. I didn't even know there was orange wine. Like, what? Why would you? And why would you care anyway? True. Okay. National, oh, okay. So, to me and Faith's dads out there, or to all the dads out there, before To all of the dads. To every single dad that is in the face of the planet. Okay, so to all the dads out there, you have to do this, okay? National transfer money to your daughter day. Doesn't have to be a lot. It can be $5. I'll take it. Give. (laughs) I mean, unless, like, you're using your money for, like, groceries or something. Like, that's something, like, very important, then, you know still at least transfer like a dollar to your daughter transfer money to your daughter oh now the guy is mowing i'm sorry if you can hear that i can't so yep. as soon as we start recording okay. and that is all of my holidays i cut a few out because we didn't know who any of those people were and they were kind of depressing <laughs> the 
<laughs> like the little disclaimer at the end of all of the medication or something commercials. They're like, da 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 and done. Yep. <laughs> okay. A little disclaimer. Uh, I love that. Do we want to play the game or our mystery segment now? You're literally horrible. You keep giving the mystery segments and stuff away. That is very true, but I'm keeping that one in because it is a minimal editing podcast, y'all. Sarah is currently eating the microphone. <laughs> no, I'm not. Isn't that? Okay. Anyway. So yes. we're doing that? Tell them what we're doing. Hey, guess what? That you didn't already know that it's a game. You didn't know that? Totally. Okay. Um. <laughs> we're so weird. Uh, talk about it. But that's, guess what? That is why we have a podcast. We wouldn't have a podcast if we weren't weird. Anyway, okay, so do you want to know what the mystery segment is? Woo, 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 woo. Should I tell them? Yes. Okay, the mystery segment is trivia. Trivia. I'm pretty sure it's trivia part two or three because, yeah. I think we've only done trivia like once. Mm hmm. Well, we're doing trivia part two. Woo! We're obsessed with the wooing. I don't know why. I went to a football game. That was so, like, random. Tell me about it. Okay, anyway, you have okay. the trivia thing, so. Yes, I do. So, we have trivia categories. Do we want. Arts, science, entertainment, general, history, geography. I want history. History. Wow. I would not do that. This is history. Oh, wow. I'm glad this is for you. I wanted it to be normal history, not weird history. Continue, please. Uh, it is you. normal history. Hint, I don't know a lot about history not good at history okay just read me the question what <laughs> what kind of planes were used in the do little raid i don't know yeah yeah i would I don't advise know to know what the do little raid is neither do i i have no clue do you, would you like the second one let's see if any of our viewers know what that is uh, if you do, you can, like, leave us a rating or something as five stars. And guess yeah. what? It's B-25 bombers! What? Nobody knew that. <laughs> no. Nobody knew that. Not at all. There are three people in the world who knew that, and none of which are listening to this podcast. Probably not. Okay. Give me another one. Okay. Who was the most decorated American soldier during World War II? There were millions of soldiers. How am I supposed to know? Decorated. Decorated? Who was the most decorated American soldier during Like, the as in decorating a Christmas tree? I, I'm thinking, like... I'm pretty sure that means, like, badges and stuff. Oh. Give me a sec. Let me think about it. Stop it. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put the iPad down. Put it down. Stop it. I'm taking my earphone out. <laughs> okay. I happen to know the answer in the back of my mind. A.D. Murphy. If you knew that, cool. Because I did. Totally. Uh, Audie L. Murphy? No, Audie Murphy. You said 80. I meant Audie. Well, luckily you still got it wrong, even with an iPad. What? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, great. You cheated. Throw the iPad. I'm making you throw it. Throw it on the floor. Okay, so wait, let me speak. I think we should still tell them the answer, even though I can be like, hey, I don't know it, but I feel like our viewers should still find out the answer. You know? Like, we're not we going to leave them that. with a question. Does that mean, like, I'm supposed to say it even if you don't know it? Because that's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's how we're going to play it, right? Yeah. It's like, you can say, I don't know, and then I'll go, 
it is blah blah blah. Oh yeah. Continue anyway. So, so. Okay. Are you ready for a different category? Or are you continuing with this one? I'm ready for a different one. Okay. You can also do look up trivia for me, or do you want to me to have trivia? What like um thingy is that? What website? Um, random trivia generator. Dot com. Okay, I'm going to ask you another question while you look that up. Is that all right? Yeah. Who was the overall commander of the Pacific Fleet during World War II? I should know this. I studied it, like, last week. Really? Yeah. I forgot it, though. Let, let, give them a few seconds. Like, the world, like, the wars and stuff, those are kind of, like, cool or, and stuff. Like, this trivia is kind of cool. My history is about, like, really, really way back in, like, I don't know. Like, in, no, wait, wait, where's the place that I'm thinking of? Yep. Wait, where's the place with the, um, no, wait, I love this place. Ancient, oh, Egypt. Oh, my God, I had a brain fart. I don't know why I can say that. Egypt? Yeah, like, they... Not even ancient Egypt. Like, ancient Egypt is cool, and, like, all the, like, different things that they find and artifacts and, like, mummies and things like that. But, no, my history lessons are, like, yes, the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah went and built this fortress, and now, and that lasts, like, 12 minutes, and every five seconds they give me, like, three paragraphs to write down, and it's really annoying. I love my history book. Who was the overall commander of the Pacific Fleet during World War II? I don't know. The answer. Th- well, there you go. I'm about to tell you. The answer is Admiral Chester Nimitz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's wonderful. Nimitz? Uh, Nimitz. Mimitz. Nimitz. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Okay, we have arts, science, entertainment, history, general, geography, and that those are your categories. General. Where is the original London Bridge structure today? I changed my category. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can't change it. The original London Bridge structure today. The original London Bridge structure today, I should probably know this. I didn't. <laughs> so I sh- would say in London, right? Shout out to the people who know this, and I think it's kind of cool. Okay, I don't... <sighs> you don't know? No. Arizona. Why? I don't know. It's <laughs> the answer. So, do you want to continue with this category, or do you want to pick a different one? Yes, I would like to continue with this category. Okay. Why don't we just tell each other if we want to switch categories instead of asking each other every five seconds? Okay. What cake is also known as domino cake? Okay, this is something that I might know. There's more of a chance that I'll know this rather than London Bridge. (laughs) Um, because I clearly don't know anything. I bet you don't know this. It's something weird. My back is killing me. Domino cake. Domino cake. Cookies and cream. I don't know. That would be a great answer. Can you hear me weird right now? With the headphones? Yes. Okay, give me a sec. Minimal editing podcast, Sierra. You're not doing very well with this. (laughs) No. Okay. It is not. Do you want me to have back pain for the rest of my life? Do you, no, I don't. But minimal. Okay. Kidding. It is a Battenberg cake. That I would not have known. I I'm told a you. Baker too. I bake. That is my thing. I bake. What did you bake last? And when? When? What did I bake last? Dog treats. Oh, yeah. 
a couple weeks ago <clears throat> in your face. <laughs> Give me a sec. Let me find you a good question. Like one that you might actually know. Okay. Okay. The pasta shape called farfalu gets its name from the Italian word for what insect? <laughs> you said I might know. Yeah. Wait. So wait. Say it again. Say it again. Say the it again. pasta shape called farfalu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Gets its name from the Italian word for what insect? It is spelled the farfalu thing. F A R F A L L E. I am going to go. Remember a bow tie. It's asking, <laughs> what insect does it get its name from? I forgot that it was an insect. <laughs> oh my god. I will go a grasshopper. Incorrect. Didn't think it would be. Can I give you the answer? I would. Yes. Butterfly. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. I should have known that because it's probably butterfly pasta. Oh my god. I'm yeah. Italian. I should know this. You. Okay, will you ask me some questions? I am one fourth Italian. Barely anything. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, are you sure you want to continue with history? These are suckish. No, please find me a different one. Okay, what other okay. categories are there? There are arts. Science, well, I wouldn't do, no, arts, science, entertainment, or geography, because you shouldn't do general or history, because you, you've done history, and you're, I'm doing general, so. No, but I want to do general. You want to do general? Yeah. Okay. I just won't look at the questions. Because we're going to get answers. the same thing. No, just pick a different one. This is how mine is. I can pick okay. questions. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh wait, it's all different. All of them are different. Just give me a question. <laughs> okay, what soft drink company adopted Santa as the, as spokesman in the 1930s? Santa? Santa. You don't mean Fanta? No, S A N T A. Huh. Santa. Santa Claus. I don't know. I'm gonna go Coca Cola, even though I don't know. Yep. Coca Cola! Oh my gosh, how did you know? I have a Coke Bear right over there. Oh my god, he fell. Ah! Coke Bear! Oh my gosh. He has fallen! Wanna do like, I, I get a question, you do a question, you do a question, I do a question. Yes, so why don't you ask me one? Okay. What is the difference between cacao beans and cocoa beans? Cacao beans and cocoa beans. Cocoa. Cacao beans. Cocoa? Yeah. C O C O A. And then. Well, cacao. cacao beans are chocolate. Like, that's where we get chocolate. I don't know. I'm guessing the bitterness, maybe? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Cacao. Cocoa beans are cacao beans that have been roasted. That is sad. <laughs> okay, continue. The original recipe for pound cake called for a pound of which ingredients? Flour? I was going to think that, and then I was like, butter. Okay. So why don't we look? Um, it's probably not butter. It can't be butter. Oh, it's a bunch of things. It's four things. Would you like to give us another try? Okay. I still say flour. Flour. Sugar? Uh-huh. You're doing good so far. Flour. Sugar. Eggs would be weird, so we're not going to pick eggs. Well, eggs. <laughs> I gave her a face. Eggs. A and milk? No, butter. Huh. A pound of flour, butter, sugar, and eggs. A pound of eggs. 
That's nasty. Go ahead. Just a sec, I'm finding you a good one. Okay, what did Nestle pay to obtain the original chocolate chip cookie recipe? Say that again, because I didn't hear you, because okay. you were stupid headphones. What did Nestle pay to obtain the original chocolate chip cookie recipe? I don't know what I'm trying to be guessing. What am I supposed to be saying? You're supposed to guess how much money the company Nestle, or something, paid for the oh, yeah. original chocolate chip cookie recipe. Oh, at l probably like a nickel. <laughs> Is that your guess? I am going a dollar. It's either very high or very low, like outrageously. Yeah. Is that your final guess, a dollar? Well, because Nestle, Nestle was has been around for like a long time, so like then the value of things goes down. So I'm gonna go. No, I'm going like three thirty million. Thirty million. Thirty million. Is that your final guess? Either that or a nickel. Yes. A limited supply of chocolate. <laughs> you were not even close. You know, <laughs> I would I would give my yes. You know what? I would I would I would give my chocolate chip cookie recipe for an unlimited amount of chocolate. Uh, a lifetime supply of chocolate. Oh, well, that, now, that's stupid. My lifetime amount of chocolate would fill up more than, the, like, this apartment. Full of just chocolate chips. But, like, somebody else's would be just, like, this room full of chocolate chips. Which is outrageous. No. Because that is not, like, a supply of chocolate throughout your whole entire life. Free. Well, I thought a lifetime supply, they gave you, like, an... I don't know. Okay, anyway, your turn to give me one. Okay. Um, autophobia is a fear of what? Autophobia? I don't know if that is how you pronounce it, but it's A-U-T-O. A-U-T-O. Phobia. Cars? That's what I was thinking, but let's find out. Being alone. Hey, I have autophobia. You do. <laughs> I don't. I like being alone. No, but like I actually like being alone now, so I've grown. Nice. Okay, I have a question. This isn't for you, but it just says, which bird is the national bird of Panama? Do you know? I I can't hear you. I hate those headphones. Which bird is the national bird of Panama? Panama? Mm-hmm. Panama, I should know this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I'm thinking like a macaw, but now I'm like, no, wait, the Quetzal. Quetzal? Macaw? I don't know. No, let me name a couple. I should know this. Oh my god. You have two more guesses. Oh no. Why is that what you're giving me? Yeah. So neither of those was correct? No. Okay. I should know this. I lived there for three years and I don't know this. And you're like a crazy Panama-holic, so you should definitely know this. What did you say? You're like a crazy Panama-holic, so you should like definitely know this. Why do you say Panama-holic? Because you have so many hats with Panama on it. You have flags, is that what? Hats and flags and just everything. I have flags. I told in my you. Room. Is that Panama Holly? Is that Yeah, is that what you said the, with the flags? Mm-hmm. Now that yes. I just love that country so much. It's so much better than here. I I don't really like Ohio at all. <laughs> um depressing, but I'm continuing. Okay. Give me one. Oh, what is the fear of the number 13 known as? I don't know. Thir we have already, we've had this, we've had this question. I was talking about this in one of the podcast episodes and you didn't know. Thrypophobia? 
I'm pretty sure that's what you said before. Triskaidekaphobia. That's what it is. I didn't even look at the thing. It's Triskaidekaphobia. That's crazy. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Triskaidekaphobia. You know, if I didn't, like, memorize that and just, like, know by heart because of my father that Triskaidekaphobia was the fear of the number 13, I would not know how to pronounce that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have four questions that are good. So, pick a number from one through four. You have four questions. Uh, one through four, I would go four. Four? Okay. How many years are in a score? This is the most boring one. Why did you pick it? Years are in a score? Yeah. A score. Oh, how many years are in a score? Um, why do I think 13? I don't know. It's either, th- I would go 13 or 25. You have to pick one. Uh, let's go 25. It's 20. You were so close. That's sad. <laughs> oh, but you picked the most boring out of all of them. Okay, one more. Okay, just a couple more. Let me see how long we've been going. We can each, let's see, we can each have one more. Okay, go. Okay. How long is the minute hand on Big Ben? How long is the what? Minute hand. I saw this somewhere, I just don't remember where. Feet or meters? Feet. Okay, 24 feet. That is such an outrageous number and you were so close. What is it? 14. I was gonna guess 12. Neither of them were right. Okay, go, 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 go. Since it's going to be spooky season soon, originally, jack-o'-lanterns were made from which type of vegetable? A squash. I actually know the answer to this, and you're wrong. Eggplant. Okay. A turnip. I'm pretty sure I knew that, and that's kind of sad that I forgot. <laughs> and I feel like, imagine if they had it changed. All of Instead of jack-o'-lanterns, you would see turnips in people lawned lawns and if you saw turnip you would be like oh spooky season how can you even and if you saw a pumpkin you'd be like oh that's just kind of like a fruit that i don't eat ever Mm-hmm. that's awful or like a vegetable that i but now eat. that's about that's for turnips like that's a vegetable i never eat oh that's your turnip you know would you like to do animal of the day first or would you like me to you go first Okay, this podcast is going to be, like, actually pretty long if I don't do a lot of editing. You better do a lot of editing. You know how many times we messed up? That's very true, but it's going to take me forever. It's true. Okay, here we go, here we go. My animal of the day is a fossa. What is a fossa? The fossa is a slender, long-tailed, cat-like mammal that is endemic endemic you don't know to madagascar does that mean like pretty sure it means native yeah that's what i was thinking i couldn't think of the word native yes native to madagascar we'll go with that it's in the family of carnivores and closely related to the malagasy kivet kivet so maybe next time next podcast i'll do that for my animal of the day that's cool an adult growing up to six feet long from nose to tail tip and weighing up to 26 pounds the fossa is amazing that's not what it says but i'm doing that that is awesome yeah i don't know what she's doing right now oh it's raining but there you go that's my animal of the day is a fossa okay no, there's this thing I saw. If you put the headphone mic, not my normal mic, just like in your mouth and then knock on your head, it makes a weird sound. Could you hear that sound? No, but your headphones suck, so. Okay. Um, my animal of the day is a sugar glider. Sugar gliders are so cute. Okay, the sugar glider is a small, omnivorous, arboreal, and nocturnal gliding possum belonging to the marsupial class. 
The common name refers to its particle for sugary foods, such as sap, nectar, and its ability to glide through air like a flying squirrel. So, they are like flying squirrels, but I don't know. I don't know really what's the difference, but they're like more possum-y. They're really furry and cute. Okay, the length is 16 centimeters, which is an adult. And n normally, they do not weigh that much. A male will weigh 140 grams, and a female, 120 grams. They are adorable. I personally really like them. So yes, and they live, they live 12 to 15 years, which is pretty long. Like, yeah, a small squirrel-like thing living 12 to 15 years is awesome. Also, they're like the size of your palm, which is awesome. And they're native to Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. It's a lot of places to be native to. And yeah, that's it. All right. Well, I think that's the end of our podcast. Wow. Because I was trying to do like a no editing podcast and or like a minimal editing podcast. And that's probably not going to happen. It seems like I'm going to have to be doing a lot of editing. That'll be great. Guess it will. So, all right. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash fun with faith. Fun with faith. <laughs> I don't really, like, do YouTube anymore, I guess. So, yeah. Well, I think that's the end of our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we both failed. Yeah. <laughs> we both like counted with our fingers and then took a huge breath and went <gasps> and just started laughing. I know, but like you can't tell them that. <laughs> I know, but it's a minimal editing podcast. Now they kind of get like a behind the scenes. Da -da -da. True. Okay. See you next time. See you next time on, on Kid Talk. Talk. That was horrible. Bye. <laughs> No way! <laughs> okay. Try again, try again, try again. See you next time. See you next time on, on Kid, Kid Talk. Talk. Bye. Ciao. Adios. Bye. I'll read the